hi this is leo here and uh, in this video i'm going to tell you how to become an amazon seller in just simple steps and this is not going to be like an in-depth video but this is going to be an overview if you're somebody who is planning to start to become a seller and this is very very important for you because um, see uh, I am putting out all the experiences that I'm unable to capture on on texts and other things so I'm putting this as a video because initially when I started I faced a lot of struggles and uh, a lot of uh, hiccups uh, while the seller journey started and I'm capturing and documenting all this in this video so make sure that you don't skip any part and watch the video in full because uh, a minor details that I'm not able to write on a big blog that nobody reads are being captured here so really please do have a look at this video in uh, full uh, volume make sure that if you wear a headphone it'll be very easy for you to follow along and uh, please take notes because that's really important because over a history of like 200 years of evolution man is not uh, somebody who learns by seeing it uh, rather he learns it by doing it okay so make sure that you write something anything anything that you find interesting please do write and in this video i am going to cover uh, some of the most important uh, topics so so it's become like how to become an amazon seller okay so let's get into the topic now so so why do you want to become an amazon seller first of all so let's break it down in simple nuggets so if you look at this uh that is a big question in in you know for everybody so it's like um so let's break it down okay so these are the basic steps to become an amazon seller i'll just walk you through one by one so basically uh, you can become an amazon seller by following this um, steps one by one uh, first step is that uh, you would need a business registration that is um, a gst certificate uh, and msme certificate okay uh, you don't need to technically basically this msme is not required you can just be a proprietorship and then start it or you can be a private limited company and then start it but uh, to start with i think proprietorship is very easy and getting one gst is very easy once you get a gst you will be a proprietor uh, company and if you are forming a register a private limited company you need to uh, you know business partners basically you need two directors for the company that's the mandate so you can have your partner or you know anybody from your relation uh, so that's up to you and moving on to uh, product ideation of course you need a very good product that can sell okay it's not just creating registrations and uh, you know paperwork and stuff like that you need to put in enough research on um, identifying the right products which has the right demand right and you also need those right products coming from a proper vendor who you can rely on because you are not the manufacturer here you're not running the entire show here you are just an intermediary between the customer and the manufacturer so make sure that you have enough um, inventories all time from your vendors because the moment you go out of stock then your ratings are gonna you know come down buy box ratio is gonna come down so ultimately you will be losing in sales right so make sure that you need to have a very good set of vendors who can provide the same product because some vendor can you know um not have the product at that point in time so you need to have a backup vendor so that's that's all we've discussed here and then we have packaging stuff packaging is like a very vast subject i have written a very big blog on this go ahead and read on my website leoprabhu.com and i will link it up in the description also for you and uh, of course we will discuss in this video but i'm just telling you and we need to understand how fpa works and i'm gonna put everything for you and also we will look at uh, how this ads and seo things for amazon work and i will show you real life product pages how it ranks and how it works and stuff like that okay so so let's deep dive into one of the concept that's uh, business registration so okay now oh, we'll have sorry sorry about that yeah so this is what we look at okay 
how to register as a seller on amazon all you just need is a gst certificate and you can do without gst certificate also but you need to choose products on uh, which gst is exempted from the government the list is very big it keeps on changing from the government so i will link it up in the description below go ahead and look at it for example you know sanitary pads were uh, given uh, were, were under gst but finally they removed it from the gst so if you're selling sanitary pads you don't need to have a gst but only if you sell sanitary pads if you have another product then you need a gst okay so make sure that you select a product um, that doesn't come under gst okay then you don't need a registration for gst but of course to you know increase your portfolio and increase your um, number of products you need to have multiple range of products so i would suggest uh, you know go for uh, cleartax.com okay and just um, get one gst done it will cost you somewhere around 1500 to 2000 rupees you will get it in like seven days time and then you can just have a registration getting ready for your gst because that's about business registration all you just need a gst certificate of course for private limited companies you need to go through a lot of uh, paperwork before this but if you have a ca you can just uh, tell your ca that you need to have a private limited company for your uh, amazon and you want um, you know all the moa um, aoa so everything you'll get along with that gst also you need to have one gst for your private limited company as well so you'll get everything from your ca so you submit all these documents and register as a seller and uh, you are ready with your amazon seller account now successfully so now uh, you'll have to of course you need an email id and phone number that exclusively handles that particular seller account so just create an email id for example your business uh, dot amazon at gmail.com have a gmail id because you know how the mx records and uh, sometimes the mail failure happens if you have some kind of mail other than gmail and big email servers so make sure that you have a created a free email account gmail account so that you can just pass it on to somebody who process orders as well so in the later if you want to delegate it it's very easy for you to give the email id and make sure that they process orders and run ads and stuff like that so just create a gmail id for your convenience whatever name you wish to have just check for the availability and google gmail.com and get it done and uh, also go ahead and uh, so we will come to this hsn part um, because hsn is like uh, there's a, a hsn code for all the products that we trade okay um, there, is, there is a website that has all the list of hsn codes and the products you can literally search that and then you will get to know what uh, is your hsn code for your product okay so i will link that up in the description you can go ahead and search for it and get it done or i will tell you a simple trick which i use so the trick is very simple you will have your vendor right it's like you will you, you will have a vendor who's going to supply to you the product okay you can just see that particular invoice of the vendor the vendor will have a hsn code mentioned there so that is your product hsn code so when you find out a vendor who's going to supply a product for you and you place an order for that that vendor will have an invoice which has an hsn code of the particular product so this hsn code you can just submit it to amazon and get it approved so that's that's the secret trip that i follow so make sure that you will look into that as well so uh, so far so good i hope you guys are all clear so if you have any doubts just uh, uh, you know ping me in the comments below i would really have uh, enough time put into this to answer all your comments below and now let's move into the next topic uh, now we've completed about the reg registration part and now we are into uh, product ideation basically uh, you will have to scout out and find out a product that has a good opportunity for you to sell and that falls under your strength as well because if you're not if it's not in your strength you can't control it so 
when I say strength, uh, it can be like you are able to source it properly because you know the product and you have dealt with the product uh, and also it doesn't have expiry uh, because it's a new new seller so you can't have a product that expires in just three months down the line so you know or trend changes or you don't have a product that keeps on having a cataloging work because you know a lot of jewelry dresses all these things have like trends so you need to avoid that so basically in your product selection criteria you need to look at um, you know uh, expiry date expiry date is very crucial so if the product has expiry date less than six months it's a complete no and uh, cataloging work catalog work again and again then it's complete no and uh, if it is electronics no and the product requires bis certification uh, there are a lot of certification that requires for a lot of products in india so make sure that the product doesn't come under any certification requirement so if you do all these um, certification checks and everything so you will easily be able to uh, we stay away from products that can incur a loss to you and find out a product that fits all these that checks all these checkboxes plus a demand and also i am integrating a profitability calculator um, link in this video below the description so make sure that you check that out and uh, just enter the product costs and then you will be able to you know see how uh, the, the difference in prices gives you product uh, profit so let's move on to the next topic of um, vendor selection so now that uh, you have found out a product that has uh, um, you know a proper demand plus it checks out all of our checklists but still you want to have a vendor who can supply for you right so i'll show you how you can select a vendor so first thing is that um, you know if you are having a very limited capital you can go for indian sourcing networks like india mart okay and um, you know udan and uh, there are a lot of networks like more than like seven eight indian b2b players there and um, if you are having if your capital is like more than like 10 lakhs then probably you can go for um, alibaba basically you can import okay so you can look for import if your capital is like 1 lakh 2 lakh less than 5 lakhs i don't want to invest too much then go for indian okay products or you will find uh, big importers who are selling these products to you so you don't have to import it directly but you have an importer again and a middleman so again a profit so basically this will take a cut on your profit but still you'll be able to launch an international product so you can go for that so first you, once you identify your vendor place a sample order do a quality check and then book a first lock don't go and jump in and do this decision first don't just talk over the phone and then place your first lot of order that's a very no very big no no just ask them to send a sample order to your address okay uh, everybody is willing to give the sample order just you have to pay the one product cost one lo sorry, for example the product cost is like 250 rupees just pay them 250 rupees uh, say for example it is 250 rupees just pay them 250 rupees they will be able to uh, pay uh, send it to you at your doorstep so you will get uh, the products check for the QC and then go for the booking okay that's about it and then let's look at the next step of uh, our thing okay that's at uh, packaging okay uh, one second okay packaging itself is a very huge and vast subject um, so i'm talking about you know the you know outer packaging 
and the pricing of the product and the transit packaging so basically you have uh, a box that is your outer cotton you will have you know text and uh, nice designs and all on that and then this is for the product final experience and for e-com you need to have one more cover so that you can just stick uh, shipping labels on top of this and then you know you will be shipping it to your customers so so if this should be like very safe so that until you reach reaches your customers so so make sure that you select a proper packaging for your product before the launch and factor this packaging cost in your product cost that's very important because a lot of my students have finally arrived at saying that okay man, so i have the product but the product cost is like packaging cost is like uh, you know um, you know 20 percent of my margin so that's a big no so if a product requires more packaging cost then just knock off the product go for a product which doesn't require a lot of uh, you know packaging cost of believe me there are a lot of products that doesn't require a lot of um, strong packaging for e-commerce okay so basically anything less than like weight is less your packaging cost is going to be very less so that's one mantra of that and then um, let's go to understanding the FBA. So basically, uh, what is FBA? FBA means like fulfilled by Amazon. Amazon promises its customers uh, saying that they will deliver it in like one day, two day. Okay, they'll not be able to promise this unless uh, they have the products in the warehouse of the Amazon warehouse so you as a customer send the products to amazon whereas sorry sorry completely sorry about that completely sorry so this is the customer and this is the seller okay so you as a seller send products to amazon warehouse amazon sends the products to customers and promise one day and two day delivery so so basically you'll have to pack and seal it and send it to the amazon warehouse amazon will stock stock it in their warehouse so when somebody orders from amazon amazon will send it to you and amazon will collect the money from the customer and then pay it back to you so amazon will pay back the money after deducting the uh, profit margin logistics everything else so and then you get paid money okay so that's all about it that's how the fpf works and for doing this you don't need to have a warehouse you can just do it from your home in your part time because you just pack and send it for like a week and then you're done with like 10 15 days worth of orders and then again you can of course over a period of time you will need some more team members who can look at it but to start with that's a very good start okay now uh you can say leo okay fine i'm there i have launched it and look at this um, you know how people are ranking on top why am i not ranking on top so uh, there is a, a big set of thing for doing this and i have put some courses so you can look at this so i put dedicated courses on amazon uh, fba mastery and uh, fba uh, blueprint private label brand design seo and stuff like that so make sure that you have a look at it and if you want to just go ahead and uh, you know enroll in any of the courses go ahead and enroll in i am keeping it for free for some time maybe in future i might increase it i mean have a free or nominal fee because in india nobody values anything that's given for free because you buy tons of free content and we don't see it so we don't execute it so, so basically i might go and do it but initially i'm you know offering it free so make sure that you use it and rank on top of amazon yeah okay so you have a doubt okay is amazon selling profitable in india okay so of course that's why amazon has a lot of sellers it's definitely profitable if you do it the right way okay so i have given you a checklist of how to select products and stuff like that make sure that you follow that and definitely i'm sure that in just um you know three to six months of time you will be doubling up your capital 
for example you invest one lakh you know six months down the line it will be two lakh in your bank account of course uh, you should do the profitability calculator test before launching the product i am talking about products that are doing minimum uh, 30 to 40 percent profit on every sale so if you launch a product at 30 to 40 percent in just three to six months you will make two lakhs i mean one lakh to two lakhs so basically it's like a hundred percent roi on your investment okay okay so is amazon selling free of course it's free because in amazon india they don't charge anything as of now because uh, but later in us us stores they might introduce some charges but as of now it's free it's completely free you can just go and sign up you get a free account and on top of that they have given free for global selling as well you get a free account in saudi arabia you united arab emirates so all these places amazon seller account is free whereas if you take australia us europe uh, mexico um, so all these places you will have to pay a subscription fee either you sell or don't sell your account is active or inactive you will have to pay a fee of like um, you know 25 dollar that's roughly about you know 2000 rupees 2500 from marketplace to marketplace like europe marketplace i think that's around like 4000 rupees a month for the subscription based tool uh, so that's how it works so as of now it's free in india so utilize it and it's free all right so how can i guide you i can just guide you if you are really interested in learning more in detail you can book a consultation call i'll take a one-on-one -on -one call with you and we can discuss in detail about your product specific product for almost 30 minutes and then i can clarify a lot of your doubts that will give you a go ahead and launch your product on amazon okay and so if you're so busy you can definitely go ahead and sign up for any of my courses so i will show you my consultation pages so you can see here um, so you can just uh, book a consultation um so i have just uh, you know linked this uh, in the description below go ahead and book a consultation call with me talk in one-on-one -on -one. and uh, if you want to have you know a pre-recorded session of all my ideas and tips go ahead and uh, you know get it done uh, from these courses so i'd be very happy to help you out and uh, see you in my next video thank you